well, I'm here on day three of my week-long session and uh, I've uh, I got here on Sunday, took a week off work, I just thought October would be the time to target that Tyson. He's been out once this year, it's a fish that comes out maybe once, well not maybe once, once a year, twice, absolute tops, but um, hasn't been seen. It's such a big flame fish, it's got to be eaten, so I put a lot of effort in down here um, towards the, the end of the year and I thought October's got to be the month for it to come out, you know, just as the weather's still still good but, um, you know, it's getting a little bit colder and the fish really, really go into feeding mode at this time of the month, so I thought I'd take the week off and um, it's now Wednesday. I got down here on Sunday afternoon and uh, it, it was pretty mad really. Like a couple of fish had been out at the weekend um, just as I was setting up my mate Andy fishing over the way hooked into a fish and someone over the opposite side did as well which was pretty unheard of over here you know it's not there's <laughs> not loads of fish in here it's quite a big water um, you know sort of 25 acres and with with they reckon about 45 fish in here I think there's a few more but um, you know to get a, a, a double take at that it was, was pretty mental um, they both got them in, and um, I think they were. I think there was an upper twenty linear and um, and a thirty pounder as well. So fair play to them, and, and obviously that gave me confidence as well, setting up for my week long session. Um, that first night um, was was uneventful. Uh, the fish seemed to be at about 150 yards range, just a little bit out of my range, um, and there were. All three swims really near to the fish were, were occupied, so I had to get as close as I could to them. Um, put some bait out there, um, got the rods out, and, and sat on that Sunday, but, but nothing. Woke up Monday morning, um, got up at first light, and I did see one crash, but again, it was about 150 yards out. Um, but on that Monday, the wind sort of turned and it went southwesterly, and there were fish showing right in the wind. It, it looked, the conditions looked, couldn't have been better, you know. Um, and I had fish showing again at like that 140 yard, 150 yard range, just out of my range. But I thought, well, you know, it's it's not far. It's only within sort of 30 yards or so. Um, so I decided to sit on it. And at about four o'clock, I saw this almighty eruption come out of the water. Um, it was Tyson. I, I know it was. I saw the whole of the fish as it came out. And I was actually on the phone to Rich at the time. I said, I've just seen one, and, uh, mate. It's definitely, definitely Tyson, it's got to be. It couldn't have been anything else, you know, it was just too big. And uh, that was a pretty, pretty amazing event. It, I had a real feeling in me that that, that he was on me, you know, that he was, he was going to be feeding on me at, at some point in, in that week. Um, he was active, he was jumping out of the water, he was using energy, so he had to eat. Well, that's at least what I thought, anyway. Um, anyway, that, that night was, was pretty mad. I was sitting on this step, just listening to huge echoes in the distance cut boshed out one after the other it, it was absolutely crazy and, and by morning I, I couldn't believe that I hadn't had a take you know you know what it's like when you, you've been sitting there thinking you're gonna get a take and you wake up and you're like come on Rod. you're almost getting angry I was doing my Sweden but um, anyway I woke up and I was contemplating a move into nine because the fella had gone um, but I didn't do I, I decided to stay put in here uh, and, and as I was sitting on my bed chair um, do I move into nine? Do I not? Do I move into nine? And I completely changed my decision and started packing things away just to go into nine. But just as I was doing that, the middle rod's gone, did it, did, did. And the tips just started slowly bowing down. I'm fishing locked up, so it had nowhere to go. And I run down to the rod, reeled down, picked into it, and straight away it was like bang. Ooh, the rods just started going. And uh, for about 10 minutes, I, I was hooked into an absolute house. And uh, so I'm slowly bringing it back. And I'm, I know it's one of the big ones, you know. I know it's it's Tyson. I know it. I know it's either Tyson goldfish, blue, you know, one of the real big ones, just by the sheer weight of it. The smaller ones in here zip around a little bit. And anyway, so I'm pulling it back, trying to lead it back in. And about 20 yards, it's gone. And absolutely surge left and then right and. Oh, I'll tell you what, my mate Andy was, was in absolute stitches watching me get beat up by this fish. It, it was mental, it was so powerful. Um, I've never hooked anything like it, to be quite honest. Anyway, after 25 minutes, I 
finally slip the net under whatever I've got on the end and uh, I've peered into the net and my eyes have just been like wolzers, <laughs> that is one big carp and uh, in an absolute panic, you know, I, I, I didn't know what it was at the time, I, I called my mate Andy over and uh, my mate Andy and Tom, sorry, they've both come over and, and uh, I'm really thankful because they helped out with the weighing and everything and uh, they need a pot round 20, round 30, round 40, round 45 47 pound 12 ounce of big huge Tyson they're doing they were over here this morning showing so I've reeled all the rods in moved over here and uh, since I've put, I've put a couple of rods out I did put a couple of uh, a couple of baits out there maybe made one or two extra casts just to get things absolutely perfect I'm here for you know I've still got the rest of today tonight Thursday and Friday so I wanted to get everything absolutely bang on and it's actually, I think it's pushed them out a little bit, well, I don't think, I know it's pushed them out a little bit further because they seem to be showing at about 200 yards now, like in the middle, um, in the middle of the lake, a couple of good fish have come out like two or three times, right in the same spot, and uh, it's so frustrating, don't get me wrong, I'm over the moon, I've, I've got a new PB and uh, and that's great, that's that's what I came for this week, but you know, I, I want to catch more, I'm an angler, I want to catch some more carp, so I'm contemplating, contemplating reeling them in and just running around there with three rods, chucking them out on the fish for, for a few hours, you know, just to see what happens. Well, sorry, it's so close up, it's really, really windy and the sound's quite hard to pick up. At the moment, uh, I'm touring. Carp are taking me on a, on a bit of a bus trip to each swim. As they jump in front of each swim, as soon as I move, they seem to move as well. And uh, yeah, seems to be a little bit of a tour at the moment. But uh, obviously, I'm well happy because I caught the uh, biggest fish in the lake yesterday. Over the moon. But uh, sorry if this wind's a nightmare, it's, it's really, really kicked up. And uh, there's a bit of a storm brewing in the air, I think. The carp have got on it. They've been jumping out in the middle. Maybe 10 fish now. I moved off the point from where I caught the big one earlier over to another swim and uh, I got all the rods out, baited up, found nice spots. They started showing another 200 yards the other way, so in came the rods in the middle of the rain and uh, here I am. I'm back in a new swim now. I've never fished this one before. I've literally just flicked singles out there because the wind's so strong and uh, I don't want to spook what's already there. So I'm throwing stick, there's no point because I'm not getting them anywhere near it. So uh, I've got singles out there, but I'm on fish, which is uh, which is obviously the main thing. Um, yeah, so you never know what the night will bring. It's getting late now, and uh, as you can see, it's getting dark as well. So we'll see what the night brings, and uh, yeah, see what happens, eh?
Well, we're at the end of my week. It's Friday and uh, it's going to be time to reel in soon. I haven't caught any more, unfortunately, folks, so sorry about that. These northerly, northeasterly winds have been bitterly cold and I haven't seen a fish since Wednesday. Um, it's been really difficult. There's been a few more people on here fishing as well and none of them have caught anything. Even Dennis the hauler hasn't caught anything either, so it's definitely, definitely fishing hard now. It looks very wintry and uh, I think things are going to shut up shop very soon, but I can't grumble, can I? I really picked the, the, the right week that uh, big old Tyson was feeding and uh, finally, finally, I had him in the net. So I am over the moon. Obviously I lost one as well, which is very annoying. Um, who cares though, I've caught the target fish that I wanted, that I came for, that I joined the lake for and uh, I couldn't ask for any more, so I'm going to reel in shortly, go home, I'm ready to go home now, get a bit of warmth in me, some nice dinner and uh, chill out tonight and reflect on what's been an amazing week, so I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, see you again soon.